Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and first of all, I have to say thank you to 94,000 of you that have subscribed for my podcast. I cannot tell you how amazing that is. That number, to me, is just beyond belief, considering that when you start these kinds of things, you just don't expect much to happen you just see people doing it and you think maybe there's a chance people might be interested in what i'm saying but the fact is 94,000 of you have downloaded my podcast and i cannot thank you enough and there's probably more on different um on different platforms that have done the same. So it could be 940,000 of you for all I know. It's, it's really sort of impossible to keep stats on every platform. Um, but whatever it is, I really appreciate it. So today, in the uh, spirit of entrepreneurship and talking about the future... Uh, as Twitter officially changed its name to X as of today. So there's a big shift going on in the social media world. There's obviously the competitor of X, which is Threads, that just hit the market uh, or, or hit, the, um, hit the app store recently. So there's lots going on. So today's a really good day to talk about the future of real estate and the power of podcasting. Those two, in my opinion, are absolutely connected. And you need to understand one very simple thing. These five words, I hope, are the ones you're going to remember when you need to make sure that you're getting the very best help possible for your real estate sales, wherever you do them. These five words are maximum exposure equals maximum sold price. You need to remember that if the number of people looking at your property is limited to only the traditional list, the usual places, You are leaving fortunes on the table, and it doesn't have to be that way. But I also want to make sure that you know why you need to expand your search and not just settle for the same old real estate agent that you've worked with before. You need to understand, and and this is something that I didn't invent, but this is not personal. This is business. So, of course, it helps if you get along with the person, and I'm sure we will. But what you need to make sure is that that person is the best choice to make sure that your exposure is as far and wide as it can possibly be because it's your money. Your marketing money is what's paying that agent, whoever it is. If, it's, if I'm lucky enough for it to be me, I can promise you your marketing dollars will go into the, into the next level of, of the atmosphere because of the fact that I feel that when I'm selling my own properties, and this is something that I've tested this system with, is I've wanted to make sure that the exposure of the property is so wide that there's people several time zones away dreaming about living in your house and and they can't think of anything else. And when I create that, I know that I've done something that's that's going to be a game changer, life-changing for many of you. So here are the five podcast facts that you need to know before you hire any real estate agent. 
And of course, as always, this is part of a very important report that you need to read. There's a lot more to it. And there's a lot of amazing perks involved as well. But here are the five major podcast facts you need to be aware of. Number one, there are almost 500 million podcast listeners globally. 464.7 million is the latest number. I'm sure that number is going up faster than I could possibly keep you updated on. So there's that many people who are tuning in to podcasts. Obviously, various kinds of podcasts, but that's the point. There are over 500 million people listening right now. Probably over 500 million, I believe, in 2024 is is what they're predicting. It, It doesn't sound like it's that much of a stretch. Number two. The podcast in- industry market size is $23.5 billion. This is a huge market to be part of. You cannot say that any billion dollars, even $1 billion, is a small market to ignore. So you are ignoring a market that's valued at $23 billion when you're not being featured on a podcast. Very important to remember. Number three, specifically for the Canadians listening, being based here in the Toronto area, obviously many of my clients in the Toronto, GTA, Ontario area are podcast listeners. But of course, I help people all over the world. But as far as Canadians go, 9 million Canadian adults are monthly podcast listeners. These are people that tune into podcasts and sometimes do so instead of the news and instead of TV. Many of you that are listening are those people. The next one is really important. Now, although these are U.S. stats... Households with 100,000 to 150,000 income account for approximately 17% of the total monthly podcast listeners. So this is something you need to understand is that the people who are listening, a large percentage of them have the income to be able to make big decisions in terms of real estate decisions there isn't much bigger decisions in life than your real estate purchase. So for those of you with properties that, again, have incredible stories that need to be on a large stage, this is the one. And lastly, number five, my podcast show, this one you're listening to, is the top result on Google for real estate podcast show when you type in those four words amongst among almost 100,000, 100, sorry, 100 million search results. And this is important for you as well, because when someone's searching for real estate type information, they're very likely a possible buyer. And that, that means you want to connect with those people as much as you possibly can. And it's not just on Google. If you type in real estate podcast show on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, many other places, you're going to see me at the top. If, 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 if not the top, then at least in the top five or ten on most of those places. It varies depending on how the charts work. I still don't get all of that. But what I do get is that this system works and it works really well. So make sure you download this full report via the link in this podcast. Wherever you're listening to it, you'll see the link. Make sure you download this report and do not sign or do not do anything about selling your real estate until you've talked to me about it. It could be a life changing decision and I'm here to help you make the right ones.